Hello and welcome to Stuff You Like with Sir Samarsa, and this week it's Simon Tam! I wanted him for Christmas, but apparently I'm not allowed. Tch. He's dorky and competent and posh and a doctor and pretty taken by Kaylee, but there's the whole river thing and we'll get to that. Dr. Simon Tam, everyone. There's no place I can be since I found serenity. You can't take the sky from me. If Book is Mal's opposite in reaction to suffering, then Simon represents Mal before he needed to have a reaction to suffering. Not that he hasn't seen a lot of it, but he hasn't quite had all of the optimism beaten out of him yet. Rather like Kaylee, he tries to see the good in people. Unfortunately for Simon, while he sees the good in Kaylee, it is completely beyond his abilities not to screw things up. Simon's life on Serenity is largely ruled by his interactions with women. River and Kaylee, mostly. How about this body? He butts heads with Mal, they argue, they fight, they do stuff. But Simon's driving force is always his meme, his little sister, and nothing else is that important. That's not to say he doesn't try with Kaylee. Oh, he tries, all right. But unlike Mal, when he screws up, he can't just buy her a poofy dress, and with the Alliance on their tail, fancy parties are pretty much out of the question, so... Yeah, Kai fetus. That's the best he can do. And even then, he can't manage to spit it out. Professional or Bless closely his daft related to heart. me, so... It's not that Simon's not bright, because he is. It's just that he's completely incapable of not being a numpty around girls he likes. In Ariel, we see this new, cool, nerves of steel surgeon Simon. Simon in his element. We haven't seen that before. And then we see it again in Serenity. That's his little sister being tortured in front of his eyes, and he doesn't even blink. He's always been somewhat out of his element. With the exception of trauma surgery, which he does a lot of, he's a posh boy on a disreputable ship, a city boy surrounded by cows, a caregiver for a sister whose problems he cannot even begin to comprehend, and a total doofus around girls he likes. He's much more comfortable around Inara, the only woman on the ship who's at the same social level as him, but that probably has more to do with the fact that Inara is trained as a companion, whose job it basically is is to make men feel comfortable and at their ease. In Ariel, we see competent Simon for the first time. It is well sexy. Oh, and in Objects in Space, we see both snarky Simon and shirtless Simon. Oh, if I must. Simon and Jane butt heads fairly often too. Jane gets foyer with both of the Tams, but Simon is the one who pushes back. Jane is a girl's name. Also, I can kill you with my brain. Well, most of the time. I don't think my last act in this verse is going to be betraying my sister. There is something very compelling about a man who would never, ever let his little sister down. You're in a dangerous line of work, Jane. Odds are you'll be under my knife again, often. So I want you to understand one thing very clearly. No matter what you do or say or plot, no matter how you come down on us, I will never, ever harm you. He's a fugitive. He's got a crazy sister. He's got the alliance on his tail and very few allies, and he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jane. Jane. I love Simon, as all right-thinking people should. God bless his adorable awkwardness. Explain to me how you justify administering a vasoconstrictor to this patient. A praesaline is a painkiller, not a vasoconstrictor. Right, unless you combine it with dilaftin, which any first year should know is the standard prep medicine your patient was taking before his surgery. Your patient should be dead. Oh, but things went way south. This must be what going mad feels like. No, this must be what going mad feels like. I I retached a girl's leg, her whole leg. She named her hamster after me. I got a hamster. He drops a box of money, he gets to town. Hamster is just nice. That's all for this week. See you next time, people. Bye-bye. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor. Stood up to the man and he gave him what for Our love for him now ain't hard to explain The hero of Canton, the man they called James